Welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture here, I want to show you how to make this a little better than what it is now. I, I told you in the last lecture that uh, we still had a, a little bit of wait uh, to wait for, for me to show you this, but I decided just to show it to you right now. We're going to make this shorter. We're going to make this code a little less than what it is now. We're going to clean it up and make it look really good and function better. You see, right now, Every time we want to call this function final users, this method, right, we have to instantiate it. I don't really like that. Uh, there are many developers that use this method all the time, they're instantiating, and I just don't like to do that. I like to do it the simpler way and the most useful way, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to user class here, all right? And if you remember here, all right, we, if you remember in the course, we use uh, static methods and properties, and that's what we're going to be doing with users with the with this function here. Find all users. We're going to make it a static method. All right, that's what we're going to be doing here. And let's go back here. So now instead of using this, we don't need this anymore. We're just going to take that out. Now remember that the the way we call static methods and properties are different from the regular ones, right? So we got to call this differently here. We got to use the two dots, all right, like this, and that's it. So we use the name of the class and these two double dots, all right, and that's it. And if you go back here, let me go back to user and make sure that this is right. Yeah, everything's cool there. Let's just refresh it here and you can see that it still works. All right. So we don't have a problem with that. Perfect. On the next lecture, I'm going to cut this short here because on the next one, uh, we are going to be building another method to find. And you can use that as an exercise if you want. All right. So as a challenge for you, I want you to make another method down here that will find the user by ID, all right? And remember to pass a parameter back so that way you can use it up here. So we can call the function from, the, from here and pass in a parameter, the ID number, of course, and find that, all right? And then all you have to do is loop through it, right? Down here so we can see it. Right, so I want you to do that. That's going to be your challenge for this. And on the next lecture, I'm going to show you the solution. All right, so take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's see how our codes compare.